those bites with a difference. I'm Doug Giesbrecht and today natural disasters are claiming many lives. A tropical storm hit southern Yemen on Thursday bringing two days of torrential rain, flash floods and mudslides. At least 40 people are reported to have been killed and many more are missing. Over 500 houses have been destroyed as floods swept through the southeastern provinces of Hadramaut and Mahara over the past two days. The damage has been particularly extensive because many buildings in urban areas are mud-built houses and therefore unable to stand up to heavy rains and flooding. It is fairly rare for tropical storms to make landfall in Yemen and for much of the country rainfall is sparse. The Hadramaut province typically receives only around four inches of rain per year. Also in Tibet Heavy snowstorms have hit eastern Tibet over the last few days, worsening the situation for survivors of the earthquake earlier this month. Temperatures plummeted as snow started falling on Sunday. At least two people are reported to have died and many more are missing. Snowfalls have blocked roads, caused avalanches, and led to widespread power cuts. Thousands of people have been living in tents or temporary shelters since the earthquake on October 6. Relief materials including food and blankets are flooding into the area. Heavy snowstorms are rare for this part of Tibet in October and temperatures are unseasonably cold. In Lhasa, the regional capital, the average maximum temperature in October is 17 degrees Celsius. That's 63 Fahrenheit but yesterday the high was just 8 degrees Celsius, 46 Fahrenheit. The wet season for Tibet is generally March to September, so should be soon coming to an end. A few more snow showers have fallen today, but fortunately for residents the weather is forecast to turn milder and drier for the rest of this week. Also in Pakistan, At least 160 people have been killed after an earthquake of 6.4 magnitude hit Balochistan province in southwestern Pakistan. Officials in Balochistan say they expect the toll to rise. The tremor struck 70 kilometers, that's 45 miles, north of Kita at a depth of 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles. The U.S. Geological Survey reported this. Many houses collapsed during the quake and some were destroyed in landslides that followed it. Reports say teams of Army and Paramilitary Frontier Corps troops are in the area, helping to rescue the injured and retrieve dead bodies. Some homes were buried in a landslide triggered by the quake. Graves are being dug with excavators, as dead bodies cannot be kept in the open. Aftershocks of 6.2 magnitude have rattled the province on Wednesday, causing more panic among local people. Many stunned survivors spent the rest of the night in the open, with little more than the clothes in which they had been sleeping. Now, together, let you and I pray. Because Jesus says that if two of us agree on anything we ask, it shall be done for us by our Father in heaven. And that where two or three are gathered together in his name, Jesus is right here with us. So we come, Father God, in Jesus' name seeking your faith, crying out for the suffering in Yemen, the suffering in Pakistan, the suffering in Tibet. Father, we are our brother's keepers on this side of the world. When we hear this 
disaster, we need to pray. We need to seek your face. We need to turn from our wicked self-centeredness and spend time in prayer. Father, we pray for the Frontier Corps. We pray for the aid agencies. We pray, Father, for all relief supplies that need to get to these people. And Father, we pray for the rescue of those still living. Father, prepare us as praying people. Prepare us, Father, in these dark days ahead when disasters will increase. Prepare us to spend time seeking your face and trusting you to hear from heaven, heal our land, answer our prayers. Father, help the people in Tibet. Help the people in Pakistan. Help the people in Yemen. Today we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you for joining me for News with a Difference. As you lift these bites to God in your private prayer time, may Holy Spirit lead you in detail. And may Father God bless you. We produce new bites regularly, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.